Thursday's draft is going to be all sorts of interesting, since it's being conducted online. And what makes this draft unique in particular is that for the first time in the over 80 year history of the draft, the draft can get paused and the clock can get stopped. If there are technical difficulties, or teams are trying to get trades done, time becomes irrelevant. Normally in the first round, a team has 10 minutes to make their selection, 7 minutes in the second round, 5 minutes in rounds 3 through 6, and 4 minutes in round 7. It's a very structured timing system, which is what makes 2020 all sorts of bizarre. But it didn't used to be like that. Because apparently at one point in time, time just didn't exist. Teams just had all the time in the world to make a selection. In the 1961 NFL Draft, for example, the Colts had the sixth pick in the first round. The good news for Baltimore is that they selected Tom Maddy, who wound up becoming a fantastic player for them. He played 12 seasons for Baltimore, made it to two Pro Bowls, and led the league with 11 rushing touchdowns during the 1969 season. The bad news for Baltimore is that for some reason, it took them 35 minutes to make their pick. But that was allowed. And if you think that's bad, imagine a selection taking four times longer than that. Imagine a team spending two hours making their pick. But that's exactly what happened in 1964. The Dallas Cowboys had the fourth pick in the draft that year. They were debating between taking wide receiver Dave Parks or halfback Charlie Taylor. Both players went on to have fantastic careers. Park was a three-time Pro Bowler who won the Triple Crown for receivers in 1965 by leading the league in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. And Taylor made it to eight Pro Bowls and got inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1984. The problem? Both of them were playing for teams other than Dallas. Because Parks went first overall to San Francisco, and Taylor went third overall to Washington. Dallas did not expect both players off the board, so they had a two-hour delay to debate who they were going to take. In the end, they decided on defensive tackle Scott Appleton out of Texas, who never even played for the Cowboys, as he wound up signing with the Houston Oilers of the AFL. The absolutely bizarre story behind that is the topic for tomorrow's video. And if you think that's bad, imagine a selection taking three times longer than that. Because yet again, the Cowboys were involved in a lengthy delay with their second round pick when they took six hours to make their selection. Yes, you heard that right. Six hours on one pick. For reference, the first round of the 2007 NFL Draft took six hours and eight minutes to complete. It was boring. It was painful. It was the longest first round in modern NFL history. And the league shortly changed the rules after that, reducing the time allotment for round one picks from 15 minutes to 10. Now imagine one single pick taking that long. Dallas really loved Mel Renfro. Considering the fact that the Dallas legend made it to 10 Pro Bowls in his first 10 seasons in the league and is in the Hall of Fame, they had every reason to love him. But coming out of Oregon, there were some medical concerns about his knee. General Manager Tex Schramm needed to know whether or not Renfro had a bum knee. So he wound up calling a doctor in Oregon and told him to examine Renfro's knee to make sure it was good. When the doctor found nothing wrong with the knee, the Cowboys made that choice with the 17th pick in the draft. So while Dallas was on the clock, they were having a doctor across the country performing a medical examination. The entire process took six hours. Bill Bidwell predicted that the entire draft, consisting of 280 picks, would take eight hours total. The Cowboys took eight hours on their first two picks combined. When the merger came along, the league finally came to their senses and implemented a time limit on picks. Today, a team can spend a maximum of 17 minutes on their first two picks. Dallas spent 28 times that total back in 1964. I think we can all say that we're fortunate that this rule doesn't exist anymore.